So being a plastic surgeon has the unique uh, combination of dealing with reconstruction in a number of different sites around the body, so it's very varied, whilst the craniofacial subspecialty deals with all age ranges from the newborn baby right up to the elderly. Uh, newborn babies can have birth anomalies, and that's very rewarding to treat, whilst the elderly can have problems with skin cancer, um, and so there's a completely different spectrum of diseases. Treating the age range of patients, particularly the children that come with their parents where you have to treat the family unit and the elderly patients that come with their family with a completely different spectrum of uh, logistical problems. Yeah. That's a very good question. I think that with technology we've developed 3D planning tools and using um, software to design uh, very bespoke implants to f uh, fit the patient's defect perfectly, whereas previously we would use the patient's own material and have to sculpt um, pieces of rib cartilage or even bone sometimes to, to solve a problem. Now we can 3D print using modern materials so that the defect is filled exactly. Uh, starts early with my, I've got two young boys, so it's breakfast time, which is a bit chaotic, and then the day calms down uh, with a trip to work and seeing uh, patients in the outpatients clinic, usually in the morning, and then operating um, in the operating theatre, and my practice is about 50% under local anaesthetic, usually treating skin cancers, and 50% under general anaesthetic, dealing with facial deformity, uh, particularly injuries.